So we're on our way to meet Joseph Synagoga and uh, I met him a couple years back. Uh, I uh, hit him up on Instagram when I was in town and uh, to see if he wanted to do a workout and met up and did a workout. The guy's a beast and uh, couldn't be friendlier, you know. I wanted to help him out and uh, shout him out on Instagram and, and try to help build a, a following around him. He does a lot of the unconventional stuff outdoors and the elements, you know, implementing mindset into his workouts. So I think you'd, you know, be a great personal trainer for a lot of people in the New York area. And uh, not to mention, you know, when a 55 year old is looking better than you and outworking you, you know, with a smile on his face, it just forces you to level up. <laughs> All right, man. Okay. All right. How are you? Hey, how are you? Hey, Palmer, how are you, brother? What's going on, champ? How you doing? Him and I got in a dance battle. I, I got served. <laughs> Pretty embarrassing. <laughs> nah, nah, you held up. <laughs> we went for a ride along after that. Oh, no kidding. Yeah, I went down to the precinct and met all the guys there. Super cool. They are slippery. Every so often, people come by and they. Uh, they put tape on them, and cool. Parks guys come right and just rip them off, right off. Parks guys, quit fucking taking the tape off the, the pull-up bars. What's, why are you doing that? Get real. Thirteen. Woo! New Thirteen. Oh, first time we met. Uh, I had, I just joined Instagram. I had maybe 100, 150 followers at the most. And Mitch messaged me and said he was coming to New York for, um, for some business and that uh, he'd like to get together and work out. Well, I was terrified. I was terrified. And actually, Deb <laughs> talked me into it. She's like, Joe, you have to go and do this. And I was like, no, I can't, I can't. So uh, Mitch showed up, sure enough, around seven o'clock in the morning. We had a great workout, and then afterwards we just sat and talked about even his vision for smashing greens at that point was something that was really starting to germinate in his head. Uh, talked to me about his apparel line, which just was getting going, and uh, made such a huge impression on me that uh, ever since then we've been friends. And uh, it's just been a great, uh, just been, been an honor to support him. I was working at a wine store, and the hours I wasn't working at the wine store, I was working out. I'm trying to get myself into becoming a personal trainer. And I just, you know, in meeting Mitch, I mean, it just really, his message resonated with me. And I thought to myself, you know what, I can't, I have to go and do it, you know. I have to do and follow my passion. And that's how I feel. It's like I'm making my thing the thing, you know. And so I'm staying the course with that. You know? Mindset in action. Hell yeah, man. Oh, he's here. That's me, Joseph Synagoga. <laughs> I had I had these shirts made. Um, I had these shirts made because I had had Joe on my Instagram live and was kind of doing like an interview, and uh, <clears throat> and he had told me that you know my message really resonated with him and everything, and he said you know but uh, the way the way I want to say thank you is by putting my mindset in action, and I was like man that's 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 such a cool like way to look at it and think of it and. Uh, you know, and I was like, that, that should be your thing, mindset in action, you know? So I got these shirts made and kind of surprised them. Yeah. MIA, mindset in action, Joseph Synagoga. Yeah. And uh, his, uh, his clients and stuff can go on the website. They've got a promo code and they can get the shirt for yeah. free and just send it right to them. Yeah. It's pretty cool. It is. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know? It's like you or Joe Rogan or somebody like that. You know, you, you've been doing your thing. You're passionate about doing your thing. And you're making it popular, you know? Yeah. That's I the mean, difference. Guys like Joe Rogan, you know, he's, he's definitely one of my biggest inspirations. I can appreciate that, you know, he, he saw his vision and stuff for the podcast 
like years before it became super popular and what it is like he saw it you know even though you know maybe in the beginning like it wasn't a big audience or whatever and you know but it meant something to him and, and he kept at it and you know ended up uh turning into like the greatest podcast yeah, ever you exactly. know so i have i have a vision for myself and i'm following it through and you know and i've been I've been just consistently being genuinely, authentically me. Mm -hmm. And, you know, and at times it wasn't super, you know, didn't seem like maybe this is the right way, but I just stuck with it. And I'm glad I trusted myself. Yeah, you're smart. Yeah, yeah, because it's, it really is that. It, it has to do with being, having that passion. And, and then you make it the thing. It's yeah. not like you don't luck out, you create the thing. Bear crawl mm -hmm. from here to the fence down there, which is what about <laughs> like 75 yards, yeah. I'd say. And uh, and then when you get to the fence, sprint back, mm -hmm. pass the chain to the next guy. People talk about inspiration and they talk about things like that and inspiration to me is very perishable so in other words if you're not acting on it right away then it's gone and I'm guilty of it you know I'll see something that inspires me and if I don't act on it right away then it's just kind of out of my head and that's kind of like mindset and action is a logical um, progression to that where it's like yeah it's great to talk about mindset and motivation and inspiration but you've got to put it into action and the sooner the better this is the ticket to Gainesville. There you go. Oh, Yummy. Yeah. No chocolate. Mixes with water. That's all you wanted. Well, no, because I'm not a rack. Here you go, you horse. Mm. You it's a like a milkshake. Hell yeah. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> I can't believe it. Perfect. Yeah. Uh -uh. So Pete did hold his own on that swim, though, right? Yeah. He was able to, I know Jeff was telling yeah, me. Thank you. Thanks, man. That was Jeff's swim, buddy. Hey, puppy! Oh! <laughs> it's a guy kiss everybody. Yeah, she's gorgeous. <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, my goodness. All right, he's not bad. Absolutely not. Thanks for the workout, Joseph. Oh, thank you, Appreciate brother. It. Yeah, love you, man. Thank you. Be sure to follow and support Joseph Synagoga on Instagram. Heck yeah. Oh, bye. Mm -hmm. And uh, how was it? Good job, guys. Way to push you guys. Hell yeah. That's the like, well, workout. Oh man. Oh, man. Awesome. Yeah. And uh, oh, if you're in the New yeah. York City area and looking for an awesome oh, personal trainer awesome. with uh, oh. out of this world personality, oh, friendliness, and mindset, and results, come check out my man Joe. Yeah, man. <laughs> Take care. Yeah. 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 Ye